Uh, this is a carving in lime off um, quite a large cuckoo clock. This is the bottom section. Uh, it's got a few little bits broken off it. I've replaced uh, the tips of these leaves, uh, but this ear needs to be replaced. So I'll glue a lump on there um, and then I'll carve that up. So I've managed to glue that piece on. Uh, I don't normally glue something that big on when it's going to be carved down. Um, it makes it easier because uh, you don't want it breaking off. Uh, the reason I put a big piece on, I wanted to get a clamp on it. I wasn't quite sure where the ear was going. Um, so now it's on, I can work that out. Now this block was three and three quarter inch thick, so that ear won't be any higher than three and three quarters. So I'll mark that off. So everything above there can be taken off uh, and I can pinpoint where the tip of the ear is. So that shaded area is going to have to come off. It's quite a big lump and I've got to try and cut that off without it breaking at the join. If I keep moving round and not cutting too much material at once and putting too much pressure on the join. On the other side is quite flat, which this one can't be because it would bring it too deep. So I think it's going to be basically on that corner there, it's going to be the tip of the ear. So there's going to be quite a bit taken off there first, I think. And then this side, and I'll slowly work my way in um, until I've got a smaller piece that I can work on and see which the shape of the ear is going to be. Just put a piece of wood in so I don't cut into the carving when I go through. Turn the carving over so I can measure the length of the ear on this side and transfer that to the other. So the tip of the ear is actually going to be somewhere along that line. Now I've marked out the ear. I think that might be a bit small. I'm going to make it a bit bigger because the one on the back of this one is smaller than that. So I'm assuming that that one is going to be smaller than this. Uh, just the way it's been carved. So if I make it a little bit bigger, I can always take some more off later on. It just keeps reducing it. Uh, makes it easier to visualise. So if I take that off first, and all this around the edge, uh, and then see where I am.
and I've got the uh, roughly the right shape and size uh, from that big lump that was on there that knot's a bit annoying uh, so the next thing I'll do is uh, carve the inside of the ear first and um, when I'm happy with that I can finish off the outside Just brush on some hot water just to raise the grain and then sand it down and stain it proper.
This is just Van Dyke crystals dissolved in water. Uh, it looks a little bit better now that it's got some stain on it. Um, the light was reflecting off it a bit before and it's hard to see. Um, I've done it a lighter brown because I want it to resemble the lighter tones in the uh, actual stag itself. So next I'll put a bit of button polish on to seal that and I'll use watercolour paint to, uh, to get these darker tones and hopefully it'll blend in with, uh, with the rest of it. Uh, it does need antlers putting in um, but I'll do those later. So that's the ear finished and colour matched.